Still pushing hard, working hard daily I'm in a race with time I put my life on the record Always giving it effort that night I'm always restless This music's a life sentence Perfecting my craft in seconds The essence is of the herb Used to make the world turn People earn was not deserved Why the weak get knocked down Got people losing their house This evil's making me mad I hope I make my father proud Devote my life to writing raps I hope I'm on the right path Spending years of my life that I could never take back When you're working a lot When you're hustling a lot You know, you're going as hard as you can And there's this point In your life basically where your body just gives in, you start to hate what you're doing, um, and you just become extremely tired, and you just get to a point where you almost feel like you can't continue to do what you want to do. Um, so look, here's, here's my top tips to avoiding burnout and managing to stay at the top of the game, in the top 1%, and um, that's pretty much it. So the first thing you gotta do, and I'm a big advocate of this, if you guys know me, you already know that I'm huge on this, you need to make sure that you're doing things that make you happy. All right, doing what makes you happy. You need to move faster, dude. You're not walking. You kind of just went like that, just stopped. So you need, to, so you need to do things that are going to make you happy, because if you're allowing yourself to have a break, um, and and doing the things that make you happy, going down to the beach, having a coffee, playing the guitar, playing the piano, playing soccer, going to the gym. If you're allowing yourself to do those things. You're still giving yourself that break from the hustle, uh, allowing your body to relax, get into a happy place, allowing that stress to release, allowing those toxins to release, and you're allowing yourself to refresh, recharge your batteries, and go again. The other thing that you need to do is sleep. Sleeping is so important. If you don't sleep, you become stressed, you're zombie-like, and it's hella shitty. Like, who wants to be really tired? And especially if you're a creative, a creative in the creative space needs to be number one in a creative space like you need to be in an open environment a place that encourages you to have creativity we also need sleep all right you definitely need to have sleep sleep is very important if you don't get enough sleep you're gonna get stressed and stress is proven to reduce effectiveness it's proven to, uh, proven to reduce efficiency so why allow yourself to be stressed by just not sleeping enough Another thing that I would recommend is don't be afraid to ask for help. All right, guys, don't be afraid to ask for help. It's so necessary. Like, people need help. I mean, look at any business that's taken itself to seven figures. Those businesses don't do it on their own. So actually, seven and, you know, like multi-million dollar and billion dollar businesses, every single one of them have help from every area. And it's about being able to outsource your weaknesses and, and, and play on your strengths but a lot of the time as an entrepreneur when you're just starting up and you're running your business you're hustling 20 hours a day you are allowed to ask for help friends family you know just people that you meet on the street take for example wave in the in this time um, some of these videos you're gonna see some drone footage we didn't bring a drone but I was like yo we need some drone footage we saw a guy on the street so we was like hey can you help us out yeah, I'm gonna Let's hit pause and go past the kids. Back in a second. I just don't want screaming in the video. No, I'm saying, my dude. You know, trip over a skateboard. I do not want that. Okay. What was I saying? So don't be afraid to ask for help, basically. Um, everybody in the world gets help. It's not a weakness. It's a thing that everybody does and you're allowed to do it, all right? Um, and last but not leastly, to avoid burnout, I would honestly say eat healthy. Gary Vaynerchuk encourages at this age to eat takeout. When I eat takeout, I feel like absolute shit. I'm so unproductive. It doesn't take much to eat some salad. It doesn't take much to just measure your macros or measure your calories. It doesn't take much to make sure you're eating the right types of foods that are gonna avoid you from feeling shitty, gluggy, and overall just not having the energy that's required to get the task done. I'm, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna say one last thing. Outsource as much as possible. You may feel like you can't outsource right now, but outsource as soon as you can. You need to outsource before you even realize you can, before you can afford it, because that is gonna give you the ability to do what is important. That's gonna make your business turn over. And when you're doing those important things and you're not doing everything else, you're allowing yourself to focus, you're more effective, and you're not gonna burn out because you're not trying to do every single job. All right, guys, that is my tips for avoiding burnout, staying at the top of your game, and just making shit happen. Hey, what's up, guys? 
Check out the next video and hit the subscribe link below. My life on a record, always giving it effort at night. I'm always restless. This music's a life sentence. Perfecting my craft in seconds. The essence is of the herb. Used to make the world turn. People earn was not deserved.